Hello everyone, in this video let's discuss about the novel Things Fall Apart which is written by Nigerian author Chinua Achwe in the year 1958. This novel it talks about the pre-colonial life which happens in the southern eastern part of Nigeria. The novel portrays the invasion by Europeans during the late 19th century. This novel is seen and accepted like a modern African novel in English. An overview about the author Chinua Achbi. His full name is Albert Chinua Ligmonu Achbi. He is born in the year 1930 in a small village called Ugidi. This village is in Nigeria. Achbi is a child of Protestant missionary and he received his early education in English. Achbi, he grew up as a multicultural child. The inhabitants of Ogidi, that's the small village in Nigeria, they live according to the aspects of traditional Igbo culture. As Achbi grows, he develops his interest in, in the indigenous Nigerian culture and he rejected his first name Albert and then he named himself as Chinua Achbi ever. Outline of the story. The novel follows the life of Okenwo. Okenwo is an Igbo man. He is a local wrestling champion in the fictional clan of Umofia. So this place is not real but Chinua Achbi has created for his narration. This novel is split into three parts. In the first part, we will be looking at his family, his personal history and the customs and society of the Igbo culture. In the second and third sections, we will be introduced to the influence of European colonism and Christian missionaries on Okenwo, his family and the wider Igbo community. Let's see the character list. The main character is Okenwo. Okenwo is an influential leader of Omofia. So since his childhood, he doesn't want to become like his father. His father would be a lazy man and a spendthrift. A spendthrift meaning who always wastes his money and time. His behavior will be also like a woman. So Okenwo doesn't want to become like his father. Okenwo, he works hard and he earns a great position even in battle. He also attains sufficient wealth to support his three wives and their children. Okenwo's tragic flaw is that he actually doesn't want to become like his father weak. But in contrast, he behaves rashly, bringing a great deal of trouble and sorrow upon himself and his family. Next is Novi. Novi is uh, the oldest son of Okenwo. Okenwo believes that Novi is just like his father, weak and lazy. So Okenwo continuously beats Novi, hoping to correct the faults. Suddenly there is a change in Novi's behavior after the arrival of Ikimefuna. Novi becomes more masculine and his behavior changes just to please his father, Okenwo. However, he has many doubts in his tribal life. Uh, he doubts about the laws and rules of the tribe. So he converts to Christianity. Novi's conversion to Christianity is criticized as effeminate by Okenwo, his father. So after this, Okenwo strongly believes that Novi is afflicted or influenced by the same weakness, just like his father. Next is Ezinma. Ezinma is the only child of Okenwo's second wife, Ekwifi. Ekwifi begets 10 children. So among 10, only Ezinma survives. All the other children die past infancy. Mother Ekwifi treats her daughter equally just like her. And Ezinma, she calls her mother by her name. Ezinma is a favorite child of Okenwo. Similarly, Ezuma understands her father and loves him better than any of his other children. But Okenwo, he rarely expresses his affection to his daughter. However, because he fears that doing so would make him look weak. And Okenwo also wishes that Enzima would have been a boy rather than to be a girl. 
because he believes that if this girl was a boy then he would be his perfect son ikimifuna ikimifuna is a boy from the neighboring village he lives in a small hut with his first wife that is okenwa's first wife he becomes popular with okenwa's children he also develops a close relationship with novi that is okenwa's oldest son days pass by okunwa too becomes very fond of ikumufuna ukumufuna calls him as father but okunwa does not express his affection because he fears that doing so would make him look weak next is mr brown mr brown is a first missionary to travel to mofia mr brown he instructs and teaches the qualities of compromise understanding and non aggressiveness to the ogidi people that is the igbo tribes he also develops a strong friendship with the igbo tribes and he builds a school and a hospital in umofia next is reverend james smith he replaces mr brown but he is not just like mr brown because he is a person of uncompromise and he is also strict with the people He also demands the tribes to reject all their indigenous beliefs and he does not shows any respect for indigenous customs or culture. His character is seen as a stereotypical white colonist. Next is Ukendo. Ukendo is the younger brother of Okenwo's mother. Ukendo receives Okenwo and his family when they visit Banta. Banta is the place or the hometown of Okenwo's mother. Okenwo's mother is buried there in Banta. And Okenwo after his arrival to Banta, he is so grateful to his mother's younger brother because of his hospitality. But Okendo he is a sufferer because he has lost his six wives and he has buried 22 children of him. but he is a peaceful and a compromising man next is the district commissioner he is an authoritative figure in the white colonial government in nigeria he is seen as a racist colonist he disagrees to all african customs and cultures he does not respect them next is unoka unoka is okunwa's father which i mentioned earlier Unoka was a coward and a spendthrift. He never took a title in his life. He borrowed money with his community people and he rarely repaid his debts. He never became a warrior because he feared the sight of blood. Moreover, he died of an abdominal illness. And talking about his positive side, Unoka, he is a talented musician and a gentle idol man. The novel opens 10 years after his death next is obirika obirika is a close friend of okenwa obirika daughter's wedding causes a festive mood in the first part of the novel next is ekwifi ekwifi is okenwa's second wife once she is the village beauty ekwifi elopes from her first wife to live with okenwo let's see the minor characters enok ogbifu ezidu Chilo, Akuna, Wakibi, Mr. Kaiga, Ogbu, Yuenwa, Maduka, Obiali, and Ojigo. Let's now see the part one summary. The protagonist Okenwo. He is a famous person in the villages of Omofia. He is a famous wrestling champion, and he also defeats a wrestler named Amalinzi the Cat. and okenwo he keeps himself strong hard working and he strives not to show his weaknesses in front of people he dislikes his father because his father has unpaid debts and he thinks that his father is a coward okenwo he works hard and he builds up his wealth entirely on his own and okenwo he died a shameful death leaving unpaid debts Okenwo he always works hard to build up his masculinity as a result he often beats his wives and children and he is uh, unkind to his neighbors however he is a wealthy courageous and a powerful figure 
and he is a leader of his village or uh, he has attained a position in his society for which he strives all his life the elders of the village they select okenwo to be the guardian of ikumefana ikumefana he is a boy he is from the next village the neighboring village this boy is carried to mofia because ikumefana's father killed an umofian woman so the villagers wanted to have a peaceful settlement and that's why they take ikumefana to umofia so the boy comes here and lives with okenwo's family and he grows fond of okenwo although okenwo does not show any kind or fondness to this boy because he doesn't want to become weak and this boy he looks up to okenwo and considers him just as his own father suddenly there is an oracle coming into the village the oracle says that this boy should be killed Ezuru is the oldest man in the village he wants Okenbo not to kill this boy or not to murder this boy because it would be like killing his own child but to avoid seeming weak and feminine in front of the villagers Okenbo disregards the warning from the old man after several warning Okenbo he kill Ikumefena and after the murder for many days Okenbo feels guilty and saddened and shortly after the death of ikumefena's death things begin to go wrong for kenwo he falls into great depression and as he has been greatly traumatized by the act of murdering his own adopted son his sickly daughter enzima falls unexpectedly ill and it is feared that she may die after this during a gun salute at, at ezidu's funeral Okunwa's gun accidentally exploits and kills Ezidu's son. Due to this, Okunwa and his family are exiled to his fatherland. So they all go to a nearby village called Banta. Banta is Okunwa's mother's village. For seven years, Okunwa's family stay there until they please and calm the god's anger. Let's see part two summary. While Okenwa he stays away in Banta he uh, comes to know that white men are living in Umofia with the intention of introducing their religion Christianity as the tribes convert to Christianity the foothold of the white people grows and a new government is introduced and Okenwa's son Novi he starts getting curious about the missionaries and the new religion in, in their village and when he is beaten by his father for the last time he decides to leave his family behind and live independently novi wishes and wants to be with the missionaries because his beliefs have changed while being introduced to christianity by mr brown and okenwo when he is in the last year that is in the 6th year of his exile he instructs his best friend obirika to sell all of his yams and hire two men to build him his huts so that he will have a hut when he goes back with his family to his village when okenwo when he is about to leave uh, his mother's village he creates a great feast for his mother's kinsmen where an elderly attendee she uh, sorrowfully expresses the current state of their tribe and their future part 3 Returning from the exile, Okenwo finds that his village has changed by the presence of the white man. When a converted tribe commits a mistake, the other villagers they retaliate by destroying a local Christian church. In response to this, the district commissioner representing the colonial government, he takes Okenwo and several other native leaders, he imprisons them. and find them with 200 bags of cowries the district commissioner he instructs the court messengers to respect the tribes but the court messengers they humiliate the tribes by shaving their heads and giving them hard punishments as a result of this the people of umofia they gather together to fight against the white man okenwo a warrior by nature and adamant uh, by following the umofian custom and tradition 
he doesn't want to be a coward so he advocates his people to war against the white man when the messengers of the white government try to stop the meeting or can go he beheads one of the messenger the tribal crowd allows the other messengers to escape and they does not want to fight alongside okanwa and okanwa he realizes the despair that his people does not want to fight to protect themselves or to protect their custom and culture the district commissioner gregory irwin he comes to okanwa's house to take okanwa to court but he finds okanwa hanging himself Okanwa hangs himself to avoid being tied in a colonial court. Among his own village people, Okanwa after his death, he uh, destroys his own reputation and status as it is strictly against the teaching of Igbo culture to commit suicide. As Irwin and his men when they prepare to bury Okanwa, Irwin says that Okanwa's death will make an interesting chapter for his written book named the pacification of the primitive tribes of the lower niger let's see the themes the struggle between change and tradition varying interpretations of masculinity language as a sign of cultural difference pride repression let's see the setting things fall apart takes place in the final decade of 19th century in the igbo land most of the actions happens prior to the arrival of european missionaries the igbo land is a cluster of villages uh, it bands together to protect each other and guarantee each other safety and the action of things fall apart centers in the fictional uh, village created by achbi the village name is umofia which is a part of a larger political entity made up of nine villages hope this video helped you to know about the novel things fall apart stay subscribed for more videos thank you